Hey Star Wars fans, today I thought we'd take a look at a couple of unique items uh, that I recently picked up. Um, I found these uh, concept figures at a flea market and I was really excited uh, when I seen the guy I had them there. Uh, I've been wanting to find and start a small collection of these for a while now. Um, the concept Vader comes with a, I actually found two of these and opened one comes with a nice coin that uh, says Darth Vader McCory concept and on the back it says a new hope and Star Wars which that's nice the uh, the Vader is just uh, it's just a nice looking figure the uh, the artwork on the box actually looks just a little bit better I think than uh, some of the concept helmets but uh, uh, I'm just really, really, really excited that I found these. Uh, comes with a blue lightsaber, and you can see it's uh, the base to where it fires coming uh, when it first starts up is is coming out is a whole lot bigger than uh, than any than any I've seen before. Vader also comes with a blaster. That's uh, that's kind of unique. Big, big, wide holster also. Uh, the cape on the back, Budget Jedi will like this. It's got the, uh, it's got a Batman look to it. And uh, to change the, it comes with two heads. To change the heads, you just simply pop one off and put the other one right back on. So, uh, overall, a great figure. It's got the old swivel elbows, which I'm not a big fan of, but uh, I mean, what are you going to do? Really, really excited to. Uh, to find this and uh, there's the uh, the great artwork and the packaging I um, also found a uh, concept Chewbacca uh, he had a another concept figure there but it was a I think a try a try droid I just wasn't really interested in that one but uh, just excited to find these. I'm looking for a snow trooper and a and a storm trooper now. Just excited to find that. And also done a trade with uh, with some new new YouTube friends, uh, the Star Wars twins. I'll have a link to uh, to their channel in my description. I traded for a R7A7 and a vintage collection. Luke Skywalker and these went straight to the girls so uh, I traded him a the Yoda uh, episode one Yoda with a Jedi uh, council chair uh, oldest daughter is excited to get this droid also so thanks guys for that and uh, maybe we can do some more trades in the future be sure to check out their uh, channel they're uh, fairly new to YouTube and make a make some pretty good videos uh, so thanks guys and I also broke down and bought the uh, the complete saga. Uh, when I first seen this at Walmart, you know they was out. Uh, it was a few days after it was first released, and uh, actually went back uh, one day. I think it was yesterday, maybe or day before, and. Uh, they had restocked all of them. They only had two of the complete sagas, but you could buy them all in uh, separate. You could buy the original trilogies. Uh, I think it was around forty-five dollars, but it didn't come with the uh, the bonus disc. And uh, that's really, you know, other than having them all together, I really wanted to see the bonus stuff, but it didn't have any of that in there with it. But uh, I'm just glad to have. Uh, to finally found or have all of them, especially on Blu-ray. You know, even though I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of all the uh, the additions that uh, they went back and changed and added. But uh, I mean, what are you going to do? Uh, Blu-ray is the way to go now. It's the only way to watch a movie, especially with the uh, the newer televisions. Uh, just super crisp sound and uh, and pictures really great. Also. And uh, actually, there's that puzzle that uh, we done a while back. And this is basically all that it came with was uh, 
was just this little booklet right here from Walmart, and uh, I was kind of uh, kind of disappointed with what it came with on the inside. You know, I was hoping that it would have came with, uh, you know, the uh, the Kong Wars has these removable booklets with stuff in them, but. Uh, I don't know. I was thinking maybe it might have came with something like that, but it didn't. Uh, anyway, the bonus disc, I have watched a few of those, and and it's uh, it's well worth just getting uh, just getting all of them together. Which one did I watch? Uh, I think it was this one right here. It was from episode. Uh, yeah. The second bonus disc with the archives in it it has a lot of uh, just a lot of neat just a lot of neat stuff you'll you just have to watch it's all i can say it's way too much to talk about and i just have really got started with the bonus disc uh, but it did come with this uh, the girl at walmart when i paid uh, it was 89 dollars and with tax it was 96 dollars so you might as well say it was it eat a hundred dollar bill right up but uh, it came with this poster and the best I can figure out is this is uh, it's Boba Fett riding a boga like a Obi-Wan Road in episode 3 Remedge of the Sith and I'm thinking that this planet that he's on is a moon in the Pana system because on the bonus one of the bonus discs that I've watched it has the actual 1978 um, Christmas special, the first appearance of Boba Fett. And uh, the whole episode of the cartoon is on there, which I thought was a great addition also, but he's riding some kind of creature. It doesn't exactly look like this, but I'm thinking maybe that that's where it's from. But uh, the girl at Walmart said she had some extra posters, and I, I mean, I have a... I've gave away probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 maybe. I think I've got maybe five or six left. I don't know, I've lost count, but uh, it's a giant poster. <laughs> it really is. And uh, uh, for 90 bucks, I just thought that there may, be a, may have been a booklet or something else in there, but uh, you know, I'm just happy. I'm happy to have wound up with, uh, with all of them, finally. Yeah, and uh, sadly for me, moving and uh, trying to rearrange stuff and having yard sales and losing things over the course of many, many years, I've lost the uh, unaltered versions of uh, Star Wars, the original trilogies that I had on disc. And uh, so I only have them left on VHS and, and uh, I don't even have a VCR anymore. But... Uh, you know, these movies will always be um, really special to me. You know, Han shot first. Uh, there's no need for uh, all these new digital effects in these older movies. And the young Anakin Skywalker at, uh, at the end of uh, The Return of the Jedi, I don't understand that either. But, uh, I mean, uh, I just always like the... Uh, the unaltered versions but uh, I am really really glad to have all of the Star Wars uh, movies you know even I'm not happy about the uh, the new additions but uh, I do have them all now on blu-ray so uh, that's uh, if you're a Star Wars fan which you know a lot of you guys watch my channel are it's a it's, it's an absolutely must-have so uh, that's all I have. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've got any questions, just uh, post me a comment, and I'll try to answer them the best that I can. And that's all I have today for my Star Wars collections.